What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Ooh That's Fresh with me, the kid James. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate the time you guys spend watching the content. It does not go unnoticed. If you don't already follow me, go ahead and follow me now, the kid.james, and make sure you follow the show on IG at otc.show, as well as Off The Cut on YouTube, where I post this and our other content uh, as well. So make sure you guys follow us there. The 1985 Air Jordan 1 silhouette is one of the most iconic sneakers ever. Everybody knows it. And you automatically assume when somebody brings up an 85 pair that they are talking about the bread, the royal, the Chicago, the shadow, and possibly maybe even the black toe. So along with those iconic colorway, there were other colorways that were dropped in 1985 that were just as iconic, but probably not as well known. The metallic series, for example, the metallic orange, metallic green, metallic red, gray, black, blue, and purple. That leads me to the shoe that we're gonna talk about today, and that shoe being the Air Jordan 1 Metallic Purple. So first and foremost, let's talk about the things that I really like. I really like the purple sole. Now, I don't normally pay attention to the sole, but it looks really good on this shoe, and it's, it's really standing out for me. It, it really goes really well, obviously, with white, but what doesn't, right? The swoosh is cool, and the upper. So it's just got enough hits that, that I'm, I'm really enjoying. So the last time we saw this shoe was in 2009. It dropped as a regional pack, along with the metallic red, metallic orange, metallic green, and the purple. So now it's back after a decade's wait. Now this time around, this shoe is a women's exclusive. So it comes with a satin inside, uh, and satin on the inside of the tongue for the sock liner, which was not part of the OG or the 2009 pack. Now that's not wrong with that. I actually think that makes it cooler because it's a women's shoe. If guys, if you're gonna go for this shoe, you're gonna have to size up obviously because this does run in women's sizes. Now, something I really like about this shoe isn't even a part of the shoe. It's the box. I'm a big fan of this box. Look how it's hit. Metallic on the on the lettering is actually really dope, right? It's the subtle things for me, I know. But the leather on the shoe is actually really nice as well. I wouldn't call it a soft leather, but it's not overly stiff. I would call it a durable leather, not quite tumble, but it doesn't have a plasticky feel that I kind of felt on the Shadow 2.0s. This is much better. It does have a soft toe box, but aside from that, it features all of the normal things you would expect out of a Jordan 1. The uh, Nike Air logo on the tongue, also a leather tongue. All right, there's no mesh here as well as the Wings logo here on the side. So the shoe's cool, but I am having some issues with it. Can you guess what spot that is? If you guess the collar, then you're right. I don't necessarily care for the collar on this shoe up top. The material almost looks plastic, right? Not quite a metallic feel that you would expect with it. See how it the light radiates off of it? It doesn't necessarily give it a little shine the way that you would expect a metallic to have an almost glittery feel to it. It's bothering me because it does feel cheap, just on the top. I do like the way the material feels here on the swoosh, but when I talk about like a metallic feel to it, look at the box. The box has a shine to it, if that makes any sense. The top of it does not. It looks plasticky. Maybe it's just me and maybe I'm just being nitpicky, but it, it's bothering me a little bit. Is the collar gonna deter me from keeping this shoe? Absolutely not. This is a really cool shoe. I really like it. And I'm glad I was able to get my hands on it. Uh, I don't think it'll deter anybody from trying to cop this shoe because I won't say copying because obviously copying shoes is a nightmare this day and age, especially with the way things are in the shoe game. Sneakers is a toss up, boutiques a toss up, everything is a toss up. So chances of actually getting a shoe is, is really hard for retail. Now, obviously there are opportunities on the outside of that to, to get your shoes in the resale market, but the term copying is used very, very loosely around here but I wanna know if you guys are going to try to cop this shoe that's dropping on June 3rd, tentatively, because obviously we know that Nike is a mess right now when it comes to pushing their shoes back. This shoe is supposed to drop June 3rd. It costs $170. If you are going after this shoe and you're gonna try to cop it, let me know what it is about this shoe that is drawing you to it. Is it that it's in, uh, an OG colorway coming back? Is it the, the subtleness of it? Whatever it may be, let me know in the comments why you're going after the shoe. 
And if you're not, let me know what it is about it that, that is keeping you from wanting to keep it. And with that, I will leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much, everybody who tuned in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share it out to your friends like you've done in the past. Thanks for keeping it fresh with me, guys. Good luck on this shoe. I'll see you next time.